So today, we're going to replace this old netting on top of this aviary. We're going to have to catch the last of these pigeons out and get all these leaves off the top. This netting is about 15 years old and it is past time to be replaced. So let us get started on that. We're going to tear all this down and then we'll come back to you. So there is the wad of old net that is going to be trashed. The flock of white silkies in the green cheek conure house. They're being very inquisitive this morning. But look, this, this is the new net that we have. This is more than enough to do this area. This is a 50 foot by 50 foot net. And it was about $12 on Amazon. It came doubled over in a little box, shipped free with Amazon Prime. It is 50 foot by 50 foot. We're only gonna need about a quarter of this. And look what they've done. Let me get it here. These yellow knots, these yellow cords, they tie to opposite corners so that you know where the corner is. I think that is brilliant. But we're gonna get this, this old neck cleaned up and we're gonna get this stretched out. We'll be right back. Now we got Jeremiah on top of the goat barn. He is raking the leaves off into this pen, into this aviary. We're gonna put some of the pigeons back. Uh, we're gonna put some ducks back in here. We're gonna put some pheasants back in here. I still haven't completely made up my mind which ones are going in. But for now, the pigeons, they're, they're in this storage area here off the goat barn. They look happy, don't they? Hey. Hey. We're on YouTube. We're on YouTube. <laughs> Whoopee. Oh. Yeah. Daddy, tell them what we are. What? To make the video be funny. You're already funny. <laughs> Dad. Where are we? We are at the... Um... I forgot the name. <laughs> it's just I forgot the name. Is it... We're at Home Depot. As so typically happens, we realize that we don't have what we need to finish the job. I'm going to say we're at Walmart. Now, I know somebody is going to mention Catherine's hand all wrapped up in that big old giant bandage. Y'all pay no attention to that. My little girl is a hypochondriac. She has the tiniest, tiniest little boo-boo. Mm, and it really hurts. It really hurts. Hurt is not a word. Hogwash. Yeah. No, Daddy, you hogwash. I have washed pigs before. And Jonathan is inside of it. Getting us to stuff. He's inside the pig? <laughs> He's inside of Home Depot. Like everything that we do, we ended up having to fix one problem to avoid another catastrophe. So we had to go and get some 2x4s to add in and we just used some pipe clamps to attach the, the chain link fencing to that. We wanted the pressure treated 2x4 in here so that we can staple plastic when we do winter rise. Winter rise. Is that the right word? Winter rise? Jonathan's shaking his head at me. Yeah that word <laughs> when we wrap this building in plastic we'll be able to come in here and staple plastic to that so now we're going to get started and we're going to staple the netting to that two by four and i wish y'all could see off camera daniel stretching out of the frame of the camera so he can't be seen now this netting is wonderful once you get it installed. I don't know if you've ever worked with it or not, but you essentially have to use every body part you have to stretch it out and hold it up and use that kid that has wonderful fashion sense and 
That one over there that doesn't know how to put socks and shoes and long pants on either. You use everybody's help to get everything done. So I had this stretched over the top of my head, holding it up, and I'm putting a staple in on every other strand. These holes are two inches square, so that's every four inches. And then we'll come back with a one by two piece of wood and use as a batten that we'll screw over the netting, sandwiching the netting between the one by two and the two by four. So when you're doing this, you just wanna bunch it up the best you can if you have to and just put as many staples in as possible. And then you come back and you put the one by two up and screw through everything. This stuff is very flexible. It's very stretchy. You do want to have a couple of supports in the middle. We're probably going to be putting a larger platform up there to hold this up. But you can see Jonathan is putting the one by two on now. And that's going to hold everything nice and tight. Now again, we're not the pheasant experts with this. This is the only pin we have that has this type netting. Currently at least. If you don't think we're doing this right or if you think we've done it wrong, leave us a comment down below. And of course there are other YouTube channels that you can watch that are going to be much better at showing you how to do this. A couple of well-placed zip ties around the tree just about has this job finished. Again, it's still supported by my head for a moment. We're going to tighten it up just a little bit. You want to leave some spring in there in case the pheasant flies upwards. The reason that you use a netting like this is for flighty pheasant species like ringnecks and reeves pheasants. They can fly up and they can hit this and it won't injure them. If it was a hard wire top, they can get injured flying upwards into it. This will act kind of like a trampoline and it has spring in it and they will not get tangled up, not hurt themselves and fall back to the ground. Now look at this. This is probably the hardest part of the whole thing is just figuring out what to do with the leftovers. You have to somehow get this untangled from the, the little sticks and branches that were in the leaves and get it put away somehow. And like I said, that's probably the hardest part of this whole entire job. Now, of course, there are lots of other options for this net. Of course, it can be used on top of your chicken run to keep hawks and owls and other aerial predators out. Hey, friends, if you think this is something that you might be interested in, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the comments below. Now, if you're not familiar with the Amazon affiliate program, all that means is that if you click that link, you can search anything that Amazon has to offer and I will earn a very small commission at no extra cost to you. It is paid for through Amazon's enormous advertising budget. So I'm going to leave a link down below for you to click on. You can either order this product if you need it. If you don't need it or if you would like something else, then you can still click on that link and search anything from Amazon at all. And I would really, really appreciate it. It would help our little channel to grow. Look, friends, I have opened the door and, well, in order to let the pigeons come back into their aviary, the, these little bantams and chickens, they live in that little storage area permanently. But for right now, they're going to coexist. I will come back out here later tonight. The pigeons will go into their loft, into their nesting boxes, and the chickens will go back to roost in their own area. And I'll be able to shut the door between them and they will be properly 
contained and housed where they need to be. Here they are. They're having a grand old time. Now, don't feel bad for the chickens being locked in the storage area. We let them out to free range. They are some of the only chickens that we have that do actually get to free range. These are our Easter egg or blue egg layer mixed chickens. Well, not all of them are mixed. The rooster in that hen, those are pure lavender Americanas. These are chocolate Orpington Bantam Americana mixes. That is, well, I'm not sure what she, what her mama was, but him. That rooster is her daddy. And you can see the pigeons are making their way back out here, enjoying it. We're going to put the ringneck pheasants back in here, and I'm going to add some some of our new ducks into this aviary. Again, once we get the chickens back into their coop where they belong. But they're going to enjoy scratching in here. May not get the door shut tonight. We have other plans, but they're safely contained. So with all that, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please, 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 if you have not already, share this video with your grandmama. Share this video with your Aunt Patricia. Share this video with the little old lady that lives down the street. And again, if you have not already subscribed, please, please do so. God bless you. Bye-bye. Awesome, baby. Put a present under the tree for me. Say, hey, baby. Hey, Oscar. Hey, birdie. Hello. Hello.